Hello and welcome. I'm Michael Jobody, the festival host of the Mirror Band UK Film Awards 2024. Today we have the pleasure of hosting Jay Minari, founder of Mirror Band and festival director of the Mirror Band UK Film Awards, and Alex Lopriano, the founder of We Short. Together, we'll be shedding light on what winners of the MOVE Film Awards gain from this precious partnership. So hello to everyone on the call, super happy to have you and excited to jump into the Q&A session and, and learn more about this exciting partnership. But before we do that, we wanna jump into a bit of bio so that the audience knows who's on the call today. So first we have Alessandro Lopriano, 33, a Puglia born entrepreneur, graced with the cover of Forbes for his role as CEO of We Short, a company dedicated to promoting short films. After his studies at the University of Bari, with experience at Ryanair, he also founded Lopria Advisor, a consultancy firm in audiovisual sector. His innovative vision has made him a reference point in the Italian film industry, earning recognition from Forbes as one of Italy's top managers. We also have Jay Minari, an independent director, writer, producer, who started out working on independent films and commercials both in Europe and in the US, California, LA, New York, back in 2014, where he worked with LA producers, assisting directors. Since 2018, Jay is the festival director and founder of Mirrorband and the ever-growing Mirrorband UK Film Awards, a London-based and diversity-driven film, independent film festival, member of BFI and Film Hub London, celebrating diversity in low-budget art house films. In the last few years, Jay has been working with both producers as an assistant and director's assistant in London-based high-end TV dramas, such as Renegade Nell by Disney+, Plus, as well as producing his own independent film productions available on multiple online distribution platforms. But with that, I'm excited to jump into the Q&A and learn more about this exciting partnership between Mirabane and We Short. So to kick off, I guess the first question for Alex, you know, welcome onto the show here. I guess for first question, you know, would it be possible maybe to share what this partnership means for you and kind of how this partnership can contribute to the professional development exposure of the winners of the Mirban UK Film Awards? Well, thank you, Michael, for the very complete and uh, uh, beautiful introduction. Uh, I think that uh, it's really important to support film festivals uh, because a film festival is typically the area where short films uh, are promoted. So, you know, when I started We Short, I uh, realized that uh, there was a gap in the market for short films because when you make a short film, you usually want to apply to festivals. And, uh, and after festivals, um, there was nothing or just a few TV and broadcasters that uh, buy only few short films, only lucky ones that are the most awarded in the top tier festivals. And um, so I, I see an opportunity, opportunity to give a, a proper distribution in streaming, first of all, to all the short films that are out of this um, circle. So short film market with the internet grew a lot, but it did it silently. It did it not in the way that could attract a large amount of capital. And uh, so I think film festivals are really important. And uh, the uh, the collaboration of uh, We Short, such as a streaming platform to film festival has a multiple benefits for both. First of all, we can help the festival to, um, uh, you know, encourage filmmakers to apply to a platform that can give it a, a new life cycle after festival distribution, which before was not happening at all, or only in few cases, as I said. As soon as We Short was on the market in spring 2021, we started to talk to festivals and get also support from them at the very beginning. So this support was turned into um, another way of conceiving uh, festival distribution and platform distribution. I think it's really important for filmmakers to meet platform 
when they apply to festivals because they they find out about the platform they find out about the streaming distribution they find out a market opportunity they found out some someone is working for them so i think that's really valuable for filmmakers that are making short films and they don't know exactly where that proper place to distribute them is so I think that festivals and we short in particular, Mirabban Film Festival, which principles I really share and uh, are really important because Mirabban wants to encourage also filmmakers uh, and uh, wants to elevate diversity in the film industry. That's really one of our principles as we short because we really believe that short, short films can be, make this film industry more inclusive and uh, I think the accessibility to opportunity is the translation of inclusivity because uh, that's, I think, the essence of what the work we are doing. Giving the opportunity to access to a market in a faster way. And of course, we also have the challenge of every filmmaker. We are a startup. So filmmakers are, I think they are startups when they make a short film. So. I think that our work together with festivals means that the filmmakers can have a network where they can uh, join an opportunity and be part of the biggest community of filmmakers in the world, which is actually the future of cinema, I think. Yeah, thank you so much, Alex, for that explanation. I think it's great. and. You touched on so many important points for you know young filmmakers and entering the industry. There's so many moving parts, and and half of it is just understanding the landscape, right, and being familiar with what's out there. Uh, I guess, yeah, Jay, did you have any points you wanted to add? It looked like you might have wanted to add a couple elements to that. Oh, I just share every single point he, he just shared with us. Part of the mission of Mirabhan that reflects the mission of We Shore. That's why. We have this partnership and uh, particularly the point of Mirabin is to support independent filmmakers who struggle with budget as well. So the ability of Alex to put up a platform that allows them to find their home and uh, find representation, I think it's, uh, it's hugely important. He closed the gap that was part of a problematic situation in the independent film industry. So that's why we're having this partnership. That's why we are creating this opportunity for the winners of the Mirabin UK Film Awards. Yeah, definitely. I think just, oh, sorry, go ahead, Alex. Were you going to? No, I was, uh, I was following up saying that, uh, you know, every day we short is uh, uh, growing and this uh, growth means that we are increasing uh, subscribers, sign up users, and uh, also our community of filmmakers. And uh, basically, this 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 uh, is a benefit for festivals that are part of giving. Uh, you know, there is a collaboration. No, so we just share our asset with the with the festival, and I think that festivals also can gain more more relevance because sometimes we only think of five festivals, the top tier ones, and these festivals are usually very difficult to be selected so filmmakers uh, i think that the idea to make a short film should should be also um not only okay i should be selected in Cannes or in venice but i want to be selected in a very quality good quality film festival and i think that uh, we can also help film festivals to grow the quality and also get known within film industry, but not only, also from a wee short audience. So I think that we can ease the access to the film festivals locally and globally, mm -hmm. because globally, of course, if you are in New York and the film festival is near London, probably you won't fly there to attend the film festival but you, you might watch the short films on the platform so you know exactly the editorial taste of the festival. You know which kind of selection you can do. And if you are a filmmaker, 
that's I think really an opportunity because I hear a lot of filmmakers saying, oh, I want to go to Venice, I want to go to Cannes. But when I ask how many short films selected in Cannes and Venice did you watch in the last 10 years? Sometimes people don't, don't have this experience. So if we can provide them, so if I want to get selected to Miraban, I should know which, which movies selected Miraban in previous years. So uh, thanks to the platform, I can do that because we will launch very shortly the Miraban playlist on WeShort. So at least the filmmakers that are using WeShort also for their own entertainment can compare their work with what was selected before. I think that's one of the benchmark that I would follow. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's such an exciting partnership and yeah, as you mentioned, right, it's about having that exposure and creating those opportunities for individuals when they are submitting these films. So kind of bouncing on that for, for Jay, we kind of touched on it a little bit, but if you were to kind of pinpoint maybe, you know, your top three missions of Mirban that align with We Short, you'd be interested to look at, yeah, that alignment, of, and we kind of chatted about it a little bit, but maybe if you want to elaborate on it a little bit. Oh, I think definitely the, the core is the independent cinema, finding their own representation, like I said, and um, knowledge, because with knowledge comes this power that Alex just mentioned. If you know about the festival, you know their style, they know their genre. In a way, it touched base on the, all the points of the film course live stream we did this week, where I was explaining how to choose a festival based on how you tailor your submission. Like, for instance, if you want to succeed, uh, let's say you have a, a war romance um, and you are submitting it to a festival that takes the best romance short or you submit it to the best independent short. Of course, if you compete in the best independent short, it's much broader, right? So you want to see if they have that niche where your film belongs, and then the chance of being selected is also much, much higher. So you have to study the festival you submit to um, and that's definitely something that you do study watching films as much as possible so having a streaming platform that allows you through a, a very affordable you know entry fee to watch so many films and get to know their style it's basically the best film school you can do along with having practical experience on set so definitely accessibility is another point that we have and we share and the, the last one, I would say the element of diversity that connects and should connect um, festivals in a very non-politicized way, at least from what it comes from me and Alex, uh, because we, we discussed about festivals and how they can follow a certain pattern when they are selecting. And what we do with Miraban, and we proved that through the last five editions, we don't choose because of the element of diversity in the film. There is a quality level that has to be reached and is always you know, increasing. We have to put the bar very high because proficiency is a must when you get selected by a film festival that is worthy of such a name. So the professionalism of the independent filmmaker is always key. The, the diversity is an element that we push, but is, is not the reason behind the selection, is a destination rather than the, you know, the starting point. For sure. So quick follow-up question for Alex. So you kind of touched on it a little bit as well, but when we're looking at monetization and generating revenue, a quick question for any filmmakers watching, uh, how can filmmakers practically monetize their films and monitor viewership of their films to generate revenue effectively through their chosen distributor? I feel like that might be valuable for anyone listening. Of course. Well, uh, first of all, we short the uh started as a platform so you know we have uh, over 2500 short films on wishart.com and its apps and uh, we usually uh, sign a license agreement with the uh, filmmakers and producers or distributors sales agents where we acquire short films rights for vod but not only limited to vod which means that if we can uh, organize a theatrical run or a uh, um, uh, slate of short films, we will actually do that in order to monetize. So the monetization comes from 
the re the gross revenues that we short is able to uh, make uh, every year. So uh, the calculation of the revenues comes from the minutes watch from the platform. Uh, and also, uh, if, for example, there is a, another window of this distribution, let's make an example. Uh, we short uh, as uh, its uh, platform also on other platforms like mymovies.it in Italy, the major portal of, uh, you know, movie review, or we are also approaching a launch to Prime Video. So basically, uh, when we are distributing we short as a brand in other platforms, the calculation basically is the same. The business model can be, can be SVOD, which means subscription, or also AVOD because in some platforms, we can also choose to set we short in AVOD or recently we we're also setting up fast channels, which uh, I don't know if you are familiar with fast channels, but they are the linear channels that you find in the smart TVs connected to Internet. So that's uh, that revenues are coming from the advertising. So basically our license agreement uh, uh, makes uh, makes it easier for the filmmakers to turn their short films in a revenue stream. As as the We Short network of streaming is growing, uh, uh, the revenue uh, proportionally would grow. So far, just to give you a few numbers, in less than three years, we have paid over two hundred fifty thousand dollars in royalties to filmmakers. Uh, which uh, it's a number that shows that a, a startup can do a very interesting business and uh, this this is actually growing so i think that at the moment the ambition that we should hold have is to make this grow and to work as a family of you know uh people that want to do something big because this can be for the first time in history something that is the governance is for independence. What is really important is the strategy of creating something new. And what I mean as a something new is the network of filmmakers that can rely on a brand that can grow and, exponent and make exponential opportunities to them. This is why we short is also collaborating with other platforms. We are also shortly launching our channel on Argo, which is a, a we can consider it a sister platform in USA. Because uh, in the streaming, usually we have uh, found this uh, bad. I think it's not the best to hear streaming war. You heard about streaming war for many years which means that streamers are fighting for the rights of the right content. And so we want to make streaming love. <laughs> That's so great. There were so many golden elements to what you mentioned. Like, first off, I think it's amazing how you're able to not only look for today, but the future of how entertainment and how storytelling will change and in, in integrating that into your business model. And I love the term stream love because it's not necessarily a zero sum game, right? It's positive sum collaboration can fuel more innovation and creativity and pave and, and transform the industry in itself. So I think that's great. I guess, Jay, did you have any follow up on that? I mean, one element that has always been important for me is to reassure the filmmakers that we select. And one of the reasons also for having this talk right now is to inform filmmakers of why it is an advantage for them to take advantage of one of the awards of Miraban, which is offering them the streaming on the WeShort platform. It is an, an element of visibility and spotlight that it's not, you know, so given for granted the advantages that they can gain out of being on such a, a growing, ever growing platform. So definitely it is important to fight, I believe, this misconception. And um, actually this anticipates one element that I wanted to mention already 
which is the, well, I already touched base that in the film course we created with Miragun, but basically one of the element that most of the filmmakers are skeptical about is when they are going through their festival run and they are afraid of accepting a, even to be just streamed for three months on a distribution platform because they are afraid to be disqualified from other festival competitions. And I always, I can't stress this enough, uh, whoever, every filmmaker who's listening, you have to read, first of all, the terms and conditions. Not all film festivals do not allow you to have your film already on the market. Actually, if you have it on open sources, is a problem. But if you have it on under a contract, it may be the distributor himself to submit the film to the festival. That should be the usual route. So please, please, you know, before um, making any wrong decision, try to stay informed and uh, do not give up good opportunities like this one just because you are afraid of being disqualified from film festivals. Normally, if you know the festivals you are submitting to, you study them before submitting and then you don't just do the random submission and uh, wasting your money, you definitely will know that this is a good opportunity and you will, you know, take advantage of it immediately. And if I may, uh, there are, I mean, uh, festivals who are, are uh, you know, uh, accepting you only if you uh, didn't premiere or didn't show the, the film in that particular country, the, the platform can geoblock yeah. and countries and that can definitely make that available only in Italy or in UK and keep the United States, for example, uh, not visible. Mm -hmm. So today with the technology, it's possible to do many things. But as Jay said, just stay informed, study, or if, if you are a, a director and you have a producer, ask your producer, uh, just uh, open up your mind that that's i think first suggestion that i will give and in terms of platform i think it's really important that the platform is also a safe for your intellectual property mm -hmm. because you know uh the platform is able to collect data that are relevant for you because you are actually going to validate that particular audiovisual content uh, on a real audience. And this has created the algorithmic approach to the film production in the last 15, 20 years. So at least, you know, as a filmmaker, that there is uh, some company that is taking care of your intellectual property. So it's it's really important that you, 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 first of all, give the value to your work. If you don't give the value to your work, you shouldn't complain that there is no opportunity out there because make, making a short film takes a lot of emotions, money and work. And uh, if you are in, in, entitled to decide if you want to release it for free on YouTube, as long as I have a suitcase full of money and I'm free to leave it in the London un underground to anyone or any, in any, you know, it's just giving for free something to the, to the people. It's your choice, but maybe you want to choose another path for that. What we are doing is to create a, a brand that uh, collaborating with festivals helps filmmakers to give more value to their work if they feel they want to give more more value to their work. Many times platforms like YouTube have been the starters for many things. It's also been the starter for We Short because first of all, the you know, before We Short, we could watch short films in very few places and YouTube is one of these. But YouTube is a, a, an open source video on demand search engine, which contains thousands, millions of channels. So it's, I think that we are creating something unique and uh, that can involve festivals, but it's different from a free VOD platform. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
first of all, in terms of data collection, but also in terms of branding. And uh, Jay was uh, telling about the award. I wanted to share with you that uh, lately, for example, we had a collaboration with a festival and uh, we decided to award, uh, give a special We Short Award that we can also repeat with Miraban. Uh, we advertise the short film who win on uh, a screen of uh, Times Square in New York. Oh, that's awesome. So basically we are advertising short films like films, like any film. Because they are. So I think that's... Because they are. Wow. So that I think if I was a filmmaker would me give me a really a real impact because if anyone could advertise my short film on a the biggest screen on Times Square means that they really care. So I mean this is what we do every day, H24. That is incredible. I can only imagine seeing that on the screen in Times Square. That is everyone's dream so it's amazing that you're able to create that dream and make it a reality for for people that that's amazing so i guess just as a final question uh are there any other elements that excite you about the partnership in terms of the impact that you're you know looking to see in the future it could be long term but any elements that you're excited about that you maybe didn't get a chance to cover for, for alex the miraban i think has all the credentials that can uh, uh, you know be a BAFTA qualifying, an Oscar qualifying festival. So I think that our support would for sure uh, benefit also for, you know, uh, creating a, a, a opportunity to, to become one of those festivals. Uh, so I think that we can just support the best we can uh, the festival goals and uh, and do it uh, in uh, year after year uh, because we not don't collaborate with any festival but we i mean festivals choose we short and we short choose festivals and in particular with miraban we we choose each other because there is the same idea on how grow and what are the goals that they could achieve for sure without we short but with us uh, maybe faster and uh, and we, we would be happy because we want to have a network of festivals that can rely on us. Very well said. I don't think I have anything to add on that point, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, definitely a lot of really good reasons to submit to the upcoming festival edition. And with that, we've come to the conclusion of the, the Q&A session. Thank you so much. Just want to extend my gratitude to Jay Minari and Alex Lopriano for sharing valuable insights into the partnership between Miraban, We Short, and the winners of the UK Film Awards 2024, providing them with opportunities for professional growth, exposure, and networking within the independent film industry. Just a friendly reminder, folks, for those eager to catch the winners of the Miraban UK Film Awards, mark your calendars. They'll be streaming on We Short. Uh, May 17th, so don't miss out on all the action and excitement. Once again, I encourage the filmmakers watching this live stream to submit your film to the MUFA 2024 and warmly invite them to check out the more incredible opportunities of this festival edition, including festival promotion, funding, and distribution strategies course, which is now available on Udemy, Film Freeway, and the Mirrorban website. Plus, as a festival winner, you'll gain complimentary access as part of your award. And thank you again to Jay for your time and expertise. And to our audience, if you want to learn more about our Mirrorban, its partners and upcoming events, please visit our website at mirrorbanukfilmawards.co.uk. Thank you so much and see you in the next live stream. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>